Hey everyone, how are you today? Um, it is me with another video. And as you see by the title, I drew Asta from Black Clover. And that first image I showed, I had up, was what you see on the edge of the screen right now. It was just my little storyboard sketch. And it's ripped out because I tried to record this once already, but it failed. So, um, I did it again. And it turned out better this time. Uh... I like the face more than anything in the end result, but we're not there yet, so uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, what do I want to say? A few things. Uh, it's not really fun for me to draw, like, characters from notable series most of the time, unless it's, like, really something I want to do. It, um, it's just not as fun for me, and... I have tried to stick to what I enjoy and just draw what I feel like drawing, but it doesn't usually turn out as well, especially because my art quality is not at the level of someone like, I don't know, as an example, say Yusuke Murata started a TikTok account and just started drawing random anime faces and bodies. That would blow up because, well, one, he's Yusuke Murata, but two, his art's really good. My art's just not at that level yet. Um, negative Nancy over here. I'm trying not to be negative in these videos because I've noticed that it's just kind of unappealing to be watching someone who uh, is constantly talking down on themselves, which is really, like, messed up because, I, I don't know. I do it, but if that's something that's in a video, it's like unappealing to me. It makes no sense. Um, however, I am gonna try to be positive from now on out. So, um, hopefully, this is a less oh I hate myself <laughs> rest of the video. <clears throat> but I'm gonna voice a few things. Uh, well, I don't know why. It this is so random. I don't script these videos at all. It's just kind of me talking to myself. It's like a journal, I suppose. But, um, I suppose I should talk about this art. Here I used the eye lumps that Cynix has mentioned in his videos. Um, it's basically a good way to map out the eyelids and the eyeball in the face when you're just sketching stuff out. And, uh, it, it works, and it makes it pretty easy to draw anime eyes, because I've shifted away from an anime style of late, um, as of late. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I got back into American comics and picked up a few stylistic cues, and now I'm, like, I'm still cartoonish, but that's not what I, uh, really strive to do. I'm just trying to make art that I enjoy at this point. Um, also, overall, I don't know if I ended up liking how this completely turned out based off of the little storyboard sketch that I did. Um, the one that I did felt like more dynamic, I suppose, and it, there was more room for everything, and it was just more cleanly laid out. But, you know, it's whatever. I think an issue that I did come up with was I pushed the rib cage forward instead of letting it hang back and giving it a more laxed feel, like in the original one, um, storyboard that I did. And that's probably one of the main reasons, because it's such a subtle thing to do. But doing that will, like... I feel like if I did that, it would have turned out a lot better, is what I'm saying. And I'm actually doing that right now. I'm not going to be documenting this part, but it's just... Uh, for my own enjoyment so if I ever look back at the sketchbook or do a tour of it um, I see it and I'm like oh yeah I fixed that a little I suppose but <laughs> I sound probably not enthused right now um where am I in the video oh yes this hand took me forever as you're seeing I just couldn't get it down I didn't I wasn't happy with it and um yeah, it took me a while. I was thinking about cutting this part of the video out, uh, but I just kind of forgot, to be honest, and I'm pretty lazy with editing. I just want to get this video out because, um, 
I've tried to get on a schedule before. Post every day. Do this. Do that. And I never stick with it. I, this might very well not be stuck to as well. But um, I'm going to try to post once a week from now on out. Not that there's many people who will be um, <laughs> tuning in. But I've heard consistency is the key to getting places on YouTube. And just overall. So um, yeah. I'm drawing every day. I don't post much, really, because, um, when you record, well, for one, I don't know how to record a digital video that's not a time lapse, so if I tried to do a digital drawing video and make it, like, a five-minute video on YouTube, I don't know how to do that, because it, the longest that your video can be is, like, under a minute, so I, I'll probably figure it out eventually, but, um, that makes it, that would be easier for me. But when I'm recording, like, traditional drawing videos, it's kind of, it gets rid of that sense of, um, like, natural flow that I enjoy. Because when you're pulling out your camera, it's just like, ah, oh, I have to be this quick, I have to get this down so people don't click off or something. And, um, takes away from that sense of, yeah, flow a little bit. So it's a little unfortunate. And I'm sure another thing that adds to it is my, like, little phone recorder. I'm already, I'm always dissing this thing. Um, it's this little thing that's, like, sat in front of me. And I put my phone in this clasp that it has. And in the video, my hands are, like, and my arms are reached around it. So it's in front of my chest and I'm having to maneuver around it. It's, like, blocking my view and it's really unnatural. Um, I feel like I'm talking really fast. So I'm trying to get a little thing that I can put on the side of my desk that's um, meant to record videos like this on a swivel. You can adjust the height and the angle and stuff. So um, hopefully that's something that comes about. Also, I have a new light. Um, this one's a bit smaller, so it covers less space than my light that I was using before. But I've noticed that in all my other videos, there's this pink tint that doesn't really show up in real life. But I feel like that could definitely be just something to make uh, someone click off of a video because that color could be seen as unappealing and they don't feel like watching it anymore, I guess. So, um, I got a new light. It's kind of nice. Um, I've talked for seven minutes now pretty easily. I didn't really talk about the art. These are more of, like, video journals for me. But if you like this and enjoyed it, uh, thank you for watching. But that's about it. See you next week.